Hello everybody and welcome to the SAGS Static Ship Impact Analysis Training. So to start we have to copy these three files from our dynamic analysis folder into, into our collapse static ship impact analysis folder. Okay, and let's get started with the sacimp.sta file. Open up with the preseed. Here we're gonna change this lag. We're gonna assume the the impact is going to happen right here, and we're gonna assume that the the lag internal wall is not going to touch the pile. External wall. I'm gonna show you something here. There are two members he right here. The lag and the pile. Okay. So first of all, go to member. Divide. Z coordinate. And choose the member. See, here's the pile. Here's the lag. Choose the lag. And the Z coordinates minus 10. And the new joint name is IMPJ. And the two new group labels are IM1 and IM2. And then apply. Let's check it. It was divided just by inserting a joint here. The, pro the cross section properties are the same, and now go to load joint, and the not joint name is IMPJ. The load condition is SHIM, the load ID the same. I'm gonna apply a force in X direction of 10,000. Then apply. We have to change some parameters here. Go back to member, member properties. We divided that member, so I have to multiply this by a factor. So sex is going to understand that the length is not only this but everything here, all the length. For this one, you're gonna use 2.09 in both directions. And for this one, you're gonna use 1.91 both directions then apply. Now we can save our model gonna change for static ship impact ok you can close it now and open up the C state input file here we just want to delete some lines the load case selection is no longer needed and these load cases and load combination no longer exist delete them and we can save the file as c dot static ship impact Okay, close the file, open up datagen, create new data file. In the static tab, search for collapse input file, then OK. 
and you're gonna save the file first uh, clp dot s ship impact and the first line is the collapse options gonna change maximum generations per load increment 60 number of member segments gonna use 8 maximum number of member interactions 60 gonna include the joint flexibility effects the joint strength check choose the API and the flexion tolerance gonna use 0 0.1 Rotation tolerance 0.001. Member deflection tolerance 0.01. And collapse deflection 500. And the strain hardening ratio 0.005. Apply. Let's go for the second line. Insert input line. And search for load sequence right here. The load sequence name is going to be ship. The num and uh, the first load case is dead. The number of increments one. Starting loading factor zero and ending load factor one. It's going to be like a static loading. And the second load case I'm gonna use mass. The number of increments one. Starting load factor 0 and loading factor 1, the same as that. And the third load case, I'm gonna use shim from ship impact. Now we're gonna create the increments, they are going to have 100, it starts from 0 and goes to 1. And then apply. We're gonna insert the third line. Go to elastic member groups. We're gonna type here W01, W02, and the wish bonds. This line tells Sex that the this member are going to be considered less so sex are not going to divide the member in eight sections okay it, it, it is used to reduce the comp computational time processing the fourth line look for impact line here it is ship impact load case the load case is shim, the joint name is IMPJ and the dancing force formula we're gonna use furnace and the dent member we can use IMPJ to follow one L and then apply. We have to type the name of the curve we're gonna define after there are some curves here predefined in accordance with the DNV rules, but we're gonna use a user defined. It's called Mar. Let's insert the energy card. Here's gonna, we're gonna define the chip properties so the collapse program will be able to calculate the energy of the ship. Here we're gonna use 9000, the added mass coefficient 1.4 and the ship velocity 1.2 meters per second. And the last line is our ship indentation curve the name is mar1 and the force 
is 1.0 for 1.0 meters, 2.0 to 2.0, 3.0 to 3.0, 4.0 to 4.0. And we have finished. We can type end here and save the model. We can close now and go ahead to our collapse analysis. Go to type, choose static and the subtype, look for full pass collapse pushover analysis. Check all of the analysis options. Make sure you are using American 13th edition. The file ID is as ship impact. Let's choose the sax model file. The C state input file. The collapse input file and the PSI input file. Okay, everything is correct. You can run the analysis now. It's gonna take some seconds. Here's the analysis output, it, it's gonna show you how many steps and increments are being done and here it is if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series consider subscribing to our channel thank you and see you next time